Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the S Atty. This is an RDA that is made, made, made. No, I'm going to keep going. Made by Stellar Mods out of France. Uh, this Atty is actually designed and manufactured in France. Well, sorry. Some parts are, some parts are made in Asia, but it is fully assembled in France and shipped out from there. You've got Delrin 316 stainless steel and peak insulators going on. You can drip and you can squonk with it. And it is, did I say it was a hundred euros? Possibly, my head is minced today, but we're going to march on regardless. Uh, I'll cover as much as I can in the close-ups. I will show you some of the optional extras that you can buy. And there are many optional extras. The draw in this one is, for me, it goes from mouth to lung. You can go mouth to lung on this to, uh, I would say, a really restricted direct lung. Um, depending on the top cap, I'll cover that as we go along. Close-ups. Now, first off, I will show you everything you get as when you just buy the Atty itself, without all the bells and whistles. This is just the standard package for 100 euros. So you're going to get a certificate of authenticity here that has been signed. You will get one sticker. You will get a little baggie here that comes with two Allen keys, uh, one for the posts and one for changing out your squonk pin to your standard 510, and lots of spare O-rings as well. Uh, I will say these are the, I, I always worry when I see these, just these white O-rings here. I've never had much success with them in the past, uh, but we'll talk about that in a second. And it all comes in a nice little bubble envelope with the company logo on it. So here's the actual Atty itself. It's just under 17 millimeters in height, not including the 510 and not including this drip tip here. But you can see that the stainless steel part here does have, you know, it protrudes at the top there. Uh, you, the optional extras, you can get slam caps and you can get 24 millimeter caps as well. But this is the standard one. Got a Delrin bottom half here, stainless steel 316. On the base, you can see we have S Atty, and we also have a serial number here as well. Squonk pin, it does protrude well there, so there's no problems there at all. No issues with the threading on that whatsoever. Uh, we do have quite a narrow bore drip tip there. It is a 510 one, and other 510 drip tips do fit in there just fine. Now, pulling the top cap off, uh, what you actually have here is, and I'll just take this to bits again, now you can see here that you have, so basically this is a single coil, but you have here, you have four holes here, and the same on the other side, another corresponding four holes, or you have two holes, or you have a one hole option. So you can you, know, you can dial this down. Uh, basically this corresponds with the air holes that are on the this side of the RDA so you know I can line this up if I wanted to and I could just make sure that you know line this up with one of these holes here pop that on there and it just kind of makes sure that you know with a lot of RDAs what happens is you know you adjust the airflow and you end up you know your the air is coming from an outside angle at the coil but with this you can kind of dial it in so that you're kind of nearly always using the central two air holes I could be very wrong, but uh, I suspect that these air holes here are about 1.5 millimeter in size. Now, the one issue I do have, and this is more to do with possibly my eyesight more than anything else, is that, you know, you're going to have to line up your air holes here. So if you want to run it fully open, find your four air holes, slap that on, and, and you can see right away that it, it's, yeah, it's, it's not the easiest one to line up. And with it, you know, being the black here, it's, you will get it lined up, uh, but uh, it's not the easiest one. But then you just grab your top section here, which is just an open slot, and just bung that on there, and that's you, you're good to go. I do like the design. I like the look of this. I think it's a bonny looking RDA. As far as the deck goes, we have S Atty and Stellar Mods going on here. I have the squonk pin in, and you can see we've got Peak Insulator in there. and. It's quite deep. The coil sits well down on this one and we have two little hex screws here and I have no issues getting wire through there at all. You know, one's open and one is closed as is the norm. But if you look where the actual holes are up the top here and then if you look inside, hopefully you can see they, they come down a fair old bit. They really do come down far. And if you look, you know, where your coil rod slots are, that's where your coil sits, is way, way down in the bottom there. 
you do get spare uh, little hex screws as well in the spares packet but uh, and I'm just going to use my own little tool here but uh, let's throw a coil in here now this is pretty straightforward I'm just using one of my little PC coils here uh, I've put a little bend in there because we're going to go through the one that is just a hole this isn't an open slot here so just that little bend in there just helps it get started and push her through then take my other leg and just pull her over and that's pretty much it now I'm just going to push this coil rod right down here and just make sure that this is you see how far down that sits there it really does go down a long way and I'll just tighten these legs off snip the legs off there we go as always make sure there's no edges sticking out there and yes I know all the purists will be saying yeah your, your coils upside down yeah I know but uh, the PC coil I had to hand was wrapped the other way around so that's just the way it is but it glows red and it produces vapor so that's what I've got in there but do you see what I was talking about when I said it's really low down I will be honest when the first time I coiled this and the mod maker was in the chat in my Facebook group and he was saying put the coil down and I kept lifting it up because it just looks too far down but this is where it works best so just grabbing the cotton there and I really do not use a lot of cotton in this at all I mean I literally I'm just cutting it just past the outside edge there snip and snip and just tucking the ends down into the well I mean the coil is so low down that you know you aren't going to be using a lot of cotton here at all uh, this squonker by the way this is a, a man cave squonker um, check them out on Facebook it's a uh, really nice little squonker well it's not so little but it's a uh, very nice squonker but that's it uh, now because the holes are so high up here as well you don't have to really worry about over squonking that much it's not um, yeah you get full saturation without liquid pouring out the holes here now before we go any further, best make sure this is firing away. Yes it is. Once again, this is a PC Coils 0.4 ohm coil. So this isn't uh, you know, a really low resistance coil. Um, 2.5 inner diameter coils work really well in this, as do simple round wire builds. Also, um, I find that spaced coils work really well. Uh, it's not because the, you know, the, the posts are really far apart, but just a space coil just seems to work really well but uh, this is one of the optional extras this is another top cap so you're not messing about with you know a two-piece affair you can get this kind of thing going on like that you can get ultim ones I'll pop that on and there we go that's just a single piece yet again he's also doing 24 mil ones so I can pop that on and that will just take it out to a 24 there's slam cap ones as well uh, there's also I've got another option here you can still keep the two piece but you can go down the two piece route with um, Ultum so I've got my Ultum bottom half here so I can pop that on there we go now you see that's a lot easier to see with the holes lined up rather than the black see I can see it's perfectly lined up there then I can take my metal piece at the top there and boom and there we go, so we've got metal and uh, ultim. It's really nice, I like the configuration options that you do have for this RDA. But right now I'm going to stick with the, the standard one. Uh, so we'll go for a vape and I'll let you know what I think. I don't have any issues with the machining on this or, or, or how it looks or anything like that. It, it's actually quite a nice little dripper this. Um, Yes, the two post design, you, you've seen it a million and one times. Uh, you've also seen airflow coming down at a sharp angle like that. But this one is, it's a really steep angle. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's a very good squonking RDA, this. You don't actually use a lot of cotton in it. Two and a half millimeter in diameter coils, simple round wire builds work really, really well in it. I mean, that's a three millimeter in diameter uh, Clapton fused uh, full NI80 um, and it is oh we'll have a vape no issues at all uh, I'm not getting a roasty toasty hot, hot, hot cap top cap from this um, but that is a 0 0.4 ohm coil I, I it, this isn't going to be one of these rowdy ones um, mainly because the draw on it. This is it fully open. For a lot of people, 
these days, that would be considered a loose mouth to lung. Um, that That is a loose mouth to lung. Going on a lot of the pod systems and whatnot you see coming on the market and they're aiming for vapours, I find that very, that, yeah, a loose mouth to lung. For maybe a lot of other people, they would consider it a really restricted direct lung, which is where I would put it. I'd put it a really, really restricted. In fact, it's one of the most restricted direct lungs I've come across in a 22mm RDA. Uh, I mean, I can still, you know, you can see there. I mean, this is a freshly charged battery and, uh, you know, I can get plenty of vapour. That's a heavy VG. The flavour is, it, it's, it's a 22mm single coil RDA. You have to be some kind of ball bag these days to mess up making a flavoursome RDA. Flavoursome it is. Uh, I really did think that the coil was sitting too low. Going off the guide rod slots, uh, I wanted to lift it, the coil right up, but it performs really well if you just leave the coil where it sits when you put it in. It works well. Uh, I have no issues with over squonking either. Um, I can fully saturate the coil. It's not jam packed full of cotton. It's really like this. It's very good. However, the strange thing is now, if I find an aftermarket cap, one of the aftermarket ones, and take this off altogether. And so we don't have the two part thing going on anymore. Pop this on. There's a lot more air. Um, it, it's restricted direct lung still, but uh, it, it feels like a lot more air than using this two part one here. but still a very restricted direct lung. So I do like, I personally prefer the one piece. I prefer the one piece top cap, which you do have to buy as an optional extra. Now, this one here, the one thing I do like about it is, yes, a con for me is actually getting this lined up. It, it's, get that to separate. So you've got all these holes going round here. So you've got a set of four, a set of two, and a set of one. Lining it up uh, for somebody with my eyesight is a total pain in the backside. Uh, but I do like the way he's done it. It makes sure that the air is always focused centrally on the coil. It's bang on the coil every single time. Um, and you can, and I'll just take this down to two holes here. So I'm down in two holes now. and. You really can mouth the lung with this. That's two holes. With one hole, yeah, it's um, so it's it's two 1.5 mil air holes on either side. Which for I know for a lot of people will say, well, that's not mouth the lung, but it feels like it. It really does feel like it. My only con, my only con is is lining up the holes. Uh, and also maybe the O-rings aren't the, the, the best. I don't think they are the best, to be brutally honest. I think they're pretty junk. Um, so the O-rings and lining up the air holes with the standard top cap, they are my two cons. Um, it seems to be readily available on the Facebook group. I don't think there's massive lists where people wait forever to get one. Uh, 100 euros, I think that's a fair price. I really like it with the single piece top cap, even though it looks really nice. That looks really nice. I prefer the draw for me. It gives it gives me that um, restricted direct lung with just the one piece top cap. But if you like a really, really restricted direct lung or a mouth to lung, then you can do that with this no problem. And the flavor is as good as anything else that's on the market. I've just changed it out for the an Ultum beauty ring there with a one piece top cap and it's nice. And don't forget with the one piece top cap you can still turn the airflow down, you know, you can reduce it down to one, two or three holes if you want. Um, but that's it, I'm going to stop there. So. Two cons, the O-rings and the faffing about with the ear holes, uh, but there are far more, far many, far many more, lots of, I'll just shut up now, 
there's lots of positives as well. Um, thank you to Stellar Mods for sending this on. I did get this free to review. I also know that they are talking about, or they're just in the midst of doing an RTA version. It's basically much the same design, but you've got a chimney on there and a three and a half millimeter capacity tank. If I can find a photo, I'll pop it in here as well. Uh, so they've got other things coming down the line. And uh, yeah, give them a look. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now. It's a strange, man, I was going to cover the draw. I was going to stop there. Now I'm going to keep going. <sighs> Full on <gasps> cloudy kind of RTA, RDA even. Oops. I think we'll just go for some close-ups. <laughs> stop. Okay. Today we're going to be looking at a little R R R R R. R. Uh, it is the <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, no, that's not right either. You can do this. You can do it. And then they just send them out all over the world. Oh no, that's not going to work. Today we're going to be having a look at a a dripper. Yes. That, no, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. Manufactured <sighs> in France. It's designed in France, and it's shit French. <sighs> have to change my teeth. It's me. <laughs> oh God, no.